any man any woman that learn how to start from nothing will end up great in the journey of life the reason you are still giving excuse if you look at your life right now you will discover many excuses you are giving oh because i don't have this oh because i don't have a lot of money oh when i have enough money i will engage in this particular thing when i get this when i have somebody here and there and i want to tell you that the greatest enemy of prosperity is dreaming and trying to start anything you want to do in life at the highest level i want to tell you that the only thing that starts from up is graveyard apart from graveyard the nature of life life is not giving anybody opportunity to rise until a man of someone courage and determined to start from scratch don't be afraid to start from nothing don't be afraid to start from scratch you can start with nothing and you can start from nothing and god will help you to make it in life make history make inquiry and check all the people you are imitating all the people you are desiring to be like all the people that you are talking about these days all the people that are mighty all the people that have that achieved their destiny you will discover that these are the individuals these are individuals that refuse to allow situation to strap them down they refuse to be given excuse that many of us are giving they refuse to be uh, expecting their their uncle expecting their this and that to come and help them they are the one that start from scratch they learn how to start from scratch and the lord whenever god see you starting from scratch he will definitely help you you will not be able to understand how far you will go in the journey of life until you learn how to start from scratch until you learn how to start from little until you learn how to start with nothing and the bible said that i will help you oh thou one jacob fear not i will help you when you look at the people in the area of your career in the area of your business maybe among your peers in that particular assignment you engage on when you look at some people at the top 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 height they will discourage you they will bring intimidation to you they will intimidate you their sources can intimidate you you know the sources of your fellow peers the sources of the individual can intimidate you because their sources will continue telling you that what you are doing right now is not going to map up something what you are doing right now we end up nowhere what you are doing right now we never bring it to a place of king but i want to tell you that those people that you are looking at right now those people you are cherishing right now those people that their sources is trying to intimidate you those people that their wealth their investment their their, their influence is is suppressing you is intimidating you there was a time they were like you there was a time that they have other people that their sources was intimidating them but they refused to allow the sources of other people to intimidate them they said no we will rise i will make it in the journey of life and they continue struggling they continue living they continue managing until the time they become what they are today if i may tell you you have something inside you your wealth is not measured by the amount of money you have inside your pocket Prosperity is not all about the money inside your pocket. Prosperity is all about your mentality, your mindset. When your mind is prosperous, you can prosper even when you have no money in your pocket. Prosperity is all about your mind being prosperous. You are focused in life. There is that determination in you and within you that you will prosper in the journey of life. Well, there are many people in the Bible, people like David. David was a bush boy, a shepherd boy. David was a man that kingship was not in his lineage at all. But David said something in the book of Psalm 27 verse 10. David said, though my parents have abandoned me, the Lord will pick me up. You remember that the, the lineage of David, the, before David, there was no one in that 
lineage that had ever come up as a king. David was the first person God used to do that experiment of favor, experiment of blessing, experiment of divine shift, experiment of next level in that family. And you, watching this message, you are the one God will use like to do that kind of experiment, experiment of upliftment, experiment of turn around, something that has not happened in your family before, something that has not happened to any member of your family, something that has not happened to anyone. The Lord will use you to make those things to begin to happen for good. Refuse to become a slave of yourself. Because when you end up a slave to yourself, you end up a slave to other people. You have to discover that there is something inside you. You have to start. You have to start. No man ever come into the world and become who he is. Even when a man, even when a man come from a family back, that is wealthy, a, a wealthy background family, and that man is not serious with his destiny, he will become poor. Even in the midst of wealth, he will end up poor. That is what that is the problem of many rich men's children. That is the problem of many men and women because their parents were so wealthy, they not depend on the wealth of their parents. But if your parents are wealthy and you depend on the wealth of your parents, you will be poor. If your parents are wealthy, you depend on the prosperity of your parents, you will be poor. Because wealth is something that needs to be growing every day. But I want to tell you, there is something inside you. Learn how to start with nothing. When you look at a baby, baby will learn how to suck breast. Baby will begin to learn how to crawl. Baby will begin to learn how to walk. Before you know what is happening, the baby begins to walk and begin to run. Even when he falls down, the, the mother says, Oh, my daughter, my son, oh, baby, I don't want you to fall down. The baby will not listen to his parents because this child wants to survive in the journey of life. He wants to join his peers. When he see them playing football, when he see them running around compound, when he see them discussing and leaving him behind, he wants to join them. And that make the baby, that make that little baby to begin to force himself, learn how to crawl. And after crawling, begin to walk. Before you know what is happening, become perfect. Likewise you, when you try, you fail. You try, you fail. You try, you fail. For the fact that you are failing, congratulations. 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 Sometimes you think that failing is not a good thing. But I tell you, in the journey of life, many a time, to failing is success. Yes, failing is not failure. Remember, failing is not failure. Failure is somebody that never tries something. He has already failed. But you that is trying something, trying to survive in the journey of life, in the destiny of life, and you are failing, you are failing, you are not a, a failure. Failing in life sometimes is a success, it's a applause. Because if you fail today, that is to say there is something you never know how to do in that particular area of your field, of, 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 of the field. Or there is something you have to understand, something you never know, you have to master one particular thing there. So by failing right now, you will learn more and the next time you will pick up. Congratulations. You can start from scratch. You can start from scratch. Stop waiting for people. Stop giving excuse. You can start from a scratch. You can start from scratch. Nobody God sent into the world empty-handed. In fact, if you are from a poor family, you are well downloaded with favor, with divine potential. You are from poor family. You are well downloaded with divine potential. That is why God put you in that family to change the history of that family. My mother, your mother is poor. Your father is poor. Your brothers and sisters, all of them are poor. Your family, nobody know them. Come on, stop giving that excuse. Stop talking like that. You allow devil to show you the weakness when you have strength inside you. You allow Satan to show you what is not working when there is many things that should work if you try. 
you allow Satan to be telling you, reminding you, telling you favor. When there are many people you are better than, they refuse to look around them. Today you are cherishing them. Make inquiry of all the people you want to be like. Make inquiry of all the people you are cherishing, praying to God to make you to be like them. Don't forget, there was a time you were better than them. Learn how to start from scratch. Don't be intimidated by the sources of any man that is ahead of you right now. You are coming up and the Lord will bless you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, click the follow button if you are watching me from Facebook. Join hand together with me to share this gospel to many people so that we will save lives. God bless you. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. In Jesus' name, Amen.